anyways, um, I have two things to talk about today. I'm gonna try limiting myself because normally I just ramble on and on and on. But that, um, I was packing my stuff up for a movie I'm going to because I don't have any events, so I just said, I'll get it over with now, I have nothing else to do. So, I took all my stuff that I'm taking to a movie, well, at least what I think I'm taking for now because stuff always changes. But, um, what's basically what I'm going to take. But, um, like, it's for a movie I'm doing. I'm going to be in Owen Airborne's movie. Um, if you've heard of, if you are familiar in the YouTube community for World War II stuff, you've probably heard of Owen Drake, Owen Airborne, Drake Airborne, uh, World War II youth, uh, me, Ian McFarland, all those people, they're all going to be in this movie, actually, let's try like this, ooh, so professional, but, um, today, I'm going to talk about, like, if you're trying to do a movie, or you're just starting out collecting, this is kind of just what to get, basically, um, you don't want to start out as a higher rank because something can always change. So don't go for it, Thompson. Because NCOs and sergeants, they didn't always carry Thompsons. Um, I like carrying a Grand. More than anything, that's like my baby. Springfield and Grands. So it's not funny, but... This is just like if you're making a movie or you're just signing to collecting. This is just... I think this is going to be a two-part video. I'll post the other video either t later tonight... Or tomorrow, depending on how tired I am. It's only like 7 o'clock, though, so I'll probably get it done tomorrow, but something's going to happen. But, um, this is just, um, a basis. This is a, not exactly what you need to get, like, um, well, some old... I'll just go over it. Um, what you want to first get is a belt. Um, it can be a post, it can be an M56 belt, if you know what that is. It can be any kind of pistol belt. Um, you don't have to get an original, because it's kind of a hit or miss thing. Sometimes you don't know what you're getting if you get, got, if you buy it from eBay where there's only one for sale and they give you a picture, most likely that's going to be it. But if you're going to, like, online, like Army Navy sales, they show a picture of one of them. And normally that's probably the best condition one. You're most likely not going to get that one. Or, because it's probably already been sold. But you want to get a pistol belt. Try getting it in person or reproduction, because with reproductions, all of them are the same. Most likely, but dude, well, just get a reproduction because, well, I shouldn't say that. Just get a belt. I don't care how you get it. Just get a belt. You don't. You should be smart enough not to spend sixty bucks on something, even though you may not even like it. This setup here probably costs about seventy bucks, but a lot of this stuff's original though, so that's why. But it can just be all reproduction, but. The next thing you want to do, get your good, get yourself a good pair of suspenders, because having a belt and suspenders looks better than just having a belt and like a canteen, because when it covers more of your body, it's um, it looks more appealing. And if you want to go like, um, more hardcore, you can add other stuff to the suspenders. Like, I'm using that bag, but that's gonna be later. But if you get to use that. Um, you can either do one of two things. You can get more pouches, or you can get suspenders. Personally, I get suspenders, because pouches aren't really a huge necessity. But, um, if you get suspenders, okay. <laughs> That's good, because I, I, I don't know, just something about the suspenders, it makes it look cool. But then, you want to get ammo pouches, you know, stuff. Um, I only put one on here. This is a 1944 dated one. You've seen this in one of my videos, I think. Um, you can get a repro, I don't care what kind of pouches, like an ammo pouch, I'll say. Like an order of importance. First get the belt, the suspenders, ammo pouch. But if you don't want suspenders, if you want to be cool <laughs> or something, or you think it, you think it's, you're cool without suspenders, you can get more ammo pouches to make you look more filled out. But then, next order of business, you want to get an ammo pouch, get a good one, don't get one that's going to fall apart on you, like. I've seen on eBay, I looked up M1 Carbine pouches because I want to get a 30 round one. The ones are really big. They're almost like rigger pouches for the SMGs. But, um, 
I found one for five bucks, three free shipping from China, and I've bought something similar from like the same company, and it is not good quality. <laughs> so going back to the pouch with the suspenders, this is probably the longest topic about the suspenders and the pouches. That's what it looks like with two. I I think it looks cool, but it's kind of expensive because this was eighteen bucks because it's forty two, David. That's really nice. So when you get that early for 18 bucks, that's pretty good actually. But anyways, after you get your pouches, you want to get a canteen. Because a canteen is one of the things that sticks out. If you see a soldier, you'll probably see a canteen. You'll probably notice that besides the bag or the helmet. But a canteen is kind of a necessity. If you... Sometimes, like, if you only have a belt and the suspenders, I get a canteen, actually, more than a uh, pouch. Because look how small this is. It's going to be kind of hard to notice if you're wearing thick clothing or, like, baggy clothing or bag over. A canteen, you can definitely notice. So once you get the suspenders, the belt, your ammo pouch, and the canteen, you can stop. You don't have to go any further. But I would recommend a first aid kit because... Mm, like, everyone was issued one. Like, a lot. some soldiers weren't issued suspenders because they were infantry. Like, normal infantry. But I think all officers got the means that bag. I don't know. But, see, if you get the thing, I, that'd be good. But you don't necessarily need it. This is kind of like an extra item. But you can get things for, like, really cheap. These for really cheap. I got my, uh... I got this. This is an original British made for five bucks. This has got that stuff there, but it doesn't matter. I've got some graffiti inside. But this is not a review on gear. This is a idea booklet. <laughs> but um, anyways, if you want to go a little bit far further, um, if you want to do airborne, I would add a musette bag. But if you're just gonna go normal infantry, I would add another pouch. Um, so this is like basically how to get you started on your gear collections for like movies and just if you want to get started. So this is, I think this was actually my basic setup. But instead of a, uh, the reason why I got a uh, cartridge belt at first before a pistol belt is because my grandpa had a 1903 Springfield dated 1943. So I said, oh, I'll just get a cartridge belt then. <laughs> but if I... If that wasn't an account, I probably would have gotten a pistol belt with carbine pouches because most people, a lot of people, or I won't say most, but a lot of people, um, you can put M-Box in here. A lot of people don't know that. You can put these, this is just wood since I don't have a carbine, so I don't have mags for it. I want to get a carbine. But, um, that's next on my, uh, list of guns. I got a Springfield and a Grand. I just gotta get a carbine. But, um, that would be the next order of importance, getting a bag um, or another pouch. Because if you're not, if you don't want to go hardcore with your movies you're collecting, packing this bag, um, the one I'm wearing is going to be like, in this movie, it's going to be like 15 pounds and I have to wear it for like 10 hours or something. Um, for, I have experience from that. That's not very fun. So you, I really wouldn't, wouldn't, would not recommend doing that. So it's up to you, but I'd rather add another pouch. Um, but yeah, I had to tell someone I was recording. I was like, yeah. But um, once you get this, this is basically it's a guide because I cannot judge what you're gonna buy. I'm, I'm not gonna be like, you have to buy me a bag. No, but um, th this is just a guide what to go for. I would get a knife. Um, it just looks cool. And if you don't want another patch, because it's not like you're in combat, so you need an extra 30 rounds. You're, you'll be fine. So, just, this is 30 rounds right here. That's three magazines if you have one in the gun already, so. If you're just doing a patrol, that'd be fine, personally. <laughs> you're like a short patrol, not long. No, um, no, that's another video. Like I said, I always get off topic, but this would be another nice thing to add is a knife 
adding knives is good. But if you really want to go, like, if you want to go even further with this, you hopefully do, but because we need lots of more people to join, because I have a fear that um, my generation is the last generation to do that, you know. We're all talking about this, um, that kids don't, re kids don't really, re like, acknowledge and respect history that they used to. So, I, I got worried because Ian made a joke. He said, I'm going to make my kids do reenactments or whatever. Even if they don't like it, I'm going to make them something like that. I was on the phone with him the other day. It was really, I thought that was funny. But, um... If you want to start, like, okay, if you want to continue doing this, yay. Um, I'm not going to really, like, go any farther than that, because you've already got a basic loadout. If you've got all this stuff, if you're using a carbine, you've got a knife. Well, you won't be using this knife. You'd be using this knife. I'm going to wear this as a leg knife, so there's a strap on it. You don't want a strap to wear it. Um, I'm just to warn you guys, if you see a repro scabbard like this, this is a repro scra scabbard. I actually got, um, sit down, kind of. If you see, um, it's a repro knife. It's not sharpened. Um, but it looks the part from far away, actually, so I like that. This is a original trench knife. It's seen some use. It doesn't even, it's not even held together right in the handle. But, um, anyways, if you decide to get this, don't plan on wearing it on your belt, even though it comes with little hangers. These are too thick. I don't know why you could... I, I'm thinking on sanding it down. Um, here. Oh, let me sit you down for a sec. I, I just pushed over the bed stuff. Because, yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to sit you down for a sec. So I can, uh, put this, try putting it on or show you how far I can put it on. Yeah, I can't even get... This is the farthest I can get it without... I don't want to break the ground. It's, um, I, I got a repro belt for 9 bucks, and I can get it on. But it's a repro, and it's crappy. But I think I'm going to actually update this video in a bit. This is just, like, basic. Like, I think I'm actually just going to make a video on all my reproduction gear after this. That's going to be fun, because I'm never... I I don't think I'm ever going to do a whole gear video. Maybe if, like, all my first ID gear, or, like, all my airborne gear, which I have barely any of. But I still have a little bit, like, knee set bag and stuff, and I have a, a rigger pouch. I don't know, I just like rigger pouches, they're cool. I was actually thinking I'm doing airborne, then I'm like, uh, there's so many airborne people, pretty much all the videos I see. Well, airborne people, but, um, after this, I'm going to make another video on all my repro gear. So, this is Fear the Dark Production. Oh, yeah, that's my other topic. Um, I want to do a poll, like, since my channel's starting to stop doing the Theo Dog Production thing. No, like, I just did that when I was little, since I had nothing to name my channel. So, I'm thinking I'm dropping it. If you don't want me to drop it, comment, and if there's enough people commenting saying to keep the Theo the Dog production, then I'll keep it. And if there's enough people, if no one says anything, or there's like only like one person that I've never even seen before says that, just as a joke or something, um, I'll drop it. So, um, if you want me to stop, I will stop, um, because it's not really relevant to anything I do anymore. So, I think I'm... This is all I have to talk about. Well, I am going to make a repro gear video. But, okay, well, not repro. Okay, this next video I'm going to make, I'm going to post this now. Like, right after this, after this video is done. Then I'm going to make the other video since I will have, so I'll have room. But, what I'm thinking I'm doing is my at the front repro gear doesn't count. Like, my crappy repro gear. Not, I won't say crappy. Like, the gear that, like, a beginner would get. Okay, so... 
This um was a Fear of the Dog production. Oh well, yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it for now until people vote otherwise. But this is a Fear of the Dog production, and bye bye.